In this video, we look at diodes and how to use them. Diodes are devices which conduct current only in one direction. When a diode is connected in such a way that it conducts easily, it is said to be forward biased. However, if we connect a diode the opposite way in which it does not conduct current, it is said to be reverse biased. To determine which direction to connect the diode, we look for the band on the diode. We always connect the diode so that the black stripe or band faces the terminal in which current returns to. When we look at a data sheet, we see that a diode also has a forward voltage drop which is around 0 0.7 volts and for the 1N4148 it is a maximum of 1 volt. We must also pay attention to the power dissipation value of the diode. This value indicates how much power the diode can safely dissipate. Since a rise in temperature distorts the output characteristics of the diode, sometimes it is necessary to add a resistor to limit the current through the diode. Know that the diode is not perfect and there is always some leakage current on a reverse bias diode. The 1N4148 is a good general purpose diode for your projects. It has a reverse voltage of 75 volts and a peak reverse voltage of up to 100 volts. It can handle a peak forward surge current of up to 2 amps though the repetitive current is one quarter that value. If you require more power then a rectifier diode such as the 1N 544 is a good choice. If you require more current then the 10 a from Master Instruments Corporation can handle 10 amps up to 450 amps peak forward surge current. Diodes have many uses. One of the most common uses of the diode is in the rectification of AC to DC in a configuration known as a bridge rectifier. Though if you are using diodes as rectifiers, it is much more convenient to use a rectifier IC. The G5S BS60 from Vichy General Semiconductor is a nice device for low power applications. Diodes are also used for reverse voltage protection. And though they are not ideal, they provide good protection for most devices. Another important use for diodes is for what is known as a freewheeling or flyback diode application. When a diode is used as a flyback diode, it eliminates dangerous voltage spikes across inductive loads. Though if you are using a diode for this application, it is better to use a transient voltage suppression device such as this P6KE440 family devices to protect your circuit from voltage spikes. There you have it, you know the basics of diodes. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share and subscribe.